The world's oceans are getting hotter and experts are worried. It has all kinds of implications that will threaten life as we know it on this planet today. Heating up on average 40% faster than the United Nations originally thought. In fact, breaking records several years in a row. Researchers claiming last year will be the warmest on record for the oceans. It's a major issue and it certainly concerns water and food security. The news from climate research group Berkeley Earth published in the journal Science claiming higher temperatures are killing off marine ecosystems. They are leading to rising sea levels and they're making hurricanes more powerful. The oceans are the thermostat for the earth. They have absorbed 93 percent of the heat added to the earth since the industrial revolution. According to the report a fifth of all corals have died in the last three years. And it's not the melting ice caps, it's the warming waters that are largely to blame for rising sea levels because the water expands as it heats up, taking up more space. There's been more heat in the ocean in the last three years than any other year. Sea levels could be a foot higher by the year 2100. And as the waters heat up, the fear is that could lead fish to migrate to different areas, sparking trade wars and civil unrest. It's a national security issue. It's something filmmaker Jim Tabot knows all about. The intensity of the fires these days is much higher. And they burn through the crowns. His documentary, Beyond the Brink, looking at the impacts of climate change on society and civility. It's a global crisis. And uh, the Bulletin for Atomic Science recently has said that we moved the, the doomsday clock up to two minutes to midnight. The temperatures is changing. It's changing in all kinds of different ways. And the United States is not exempt from this issue as well. Especially on the East Coast, no stranger to storms already, but perhaps a stranger to what could come next. In major Western cities, the concern is really kind of the increased storm frequency, so uh, increased um, storm severity. So, you know, the East Coast of the United States may see um, um, stronger hurricanes or tropical storms and increased risk of flooding due to sea level rise. What is the cause? You know, because some people will say climate change, that's part of nature, right? I mean, is this a, is this a man-made problem? This is a man-made problem. Climate change is part of nature. But if you look at the 200,000 years of human history, never have we had CO2 concentrations in the atmosphere as high as we do today. And it will only get worse unless we reduce significantly the emission of greenhouse gases. And so the experts have spoken, but will the people listen? Changing habits to change the course of the planet's fate, it might be a tough task. Phil Lavelle, CGTN, Long Beach, California.